we just finished this demolition mission here, as you probably remember. And now that that's done, we're going to head for that guerrilla action I was talking about earlier. If you haven't realized, the yellow arrows and thing I'm doing with the real map is basically just setting like a checkpoint this thing, so it guides me to it and I don't have to really pay attention to the mini-map at all. Uh, I got there quicker than expected. I'm just to warn you, in the beginning of the game's a bit boring. Alright, assassination mission. Or, I guess, ambushing a convoy or something. The ambushing a convoy with a dude that I'm supposed to kill, so... Like, early on, you don't have a lot of good, uh, armor or weapons. You don't have your jetpack yet. Sam, you there? So it's not a lot of fun in the beginning, but, uh, really, the pace picks up really fast, and, um, within a few episodes from now, we'll be having a lot of fun, and I'll be freaking out a ton. I get pretty excited when I play this game in the later levels. Oh, no. Get out of there, yeah, Sam. Alright, 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 don't worry, big boy's coming. And then we're gonna, ooh, here we go. Everything's a weapon in this game. Everything. Yes, <laughs> I did just do that. Oh. Maybe I can do fix that controls. Toggle crouch should be on. Yep. Much better. Hello, Sam. To the ambush point. Oh, so I guess I was just helping her out because she got ambushed herself. Right Alright, so since the combo is going to be passing under the bridge, the obvious thing to do is um, place some mines on this part of the supports of the bridge. Oh, I failed pretty hard, but like, right, like I was saying, put some mines on the supports of the bridge, and then um, get ready to blow it up when they start passing under, and then uh, just ambush the combo when they get held up. Their goal is right here, so it's not like they're gonna be able to run away, and um, I don't have to chase them down on foot or anything like that. So I'm um, the bridge. We're just hoping that I'll kill a few of them and uh, slow them down a bit, so I can throw some more mines in there and blow them up before they even knew what happened. And the game, it actually does make you feel like you're a saboteur and uh, like you're doing guerrilla warfare or whatever, you know, sabotaging stuff, kind of like what uh, the American Revolution was like. Alright, I'm ready for him. I'm worried though, I'm afraid that the... See how the bridge is connected to the terrain right there on both ends? I'm afraid that it won't fall when I blow up the thing, and it didn't. So now, it's gonna be a bit harder to... Um, do... Oh crap. Uh oh. Shouldn't have put that there. Yep. Sorry, killed a couple citizens. That happens. Oh, I guess I forgot to talk about that. The citizens in each sector have a different um morale. And uh the higher the morale, more bonus savage you get. Oh, Martian Tea Party. Nice, that's for like a couple kind of like two guerrilla actions or whatever. Uh the more morale, the more often that they'll the people, like, if you're getting chased by EDF, people will jump out of their cars and start shooting at them. And the people will just generally be nicer to you. Like, if you have a low morale and you try and take someone's car, they'll, like, flick you off or whatever. It's pretty, uh, realistic, although it does make me kind of mad. I kind of want to beat up the citizens, so every now and again, uh, you have to go on a rampage. So now, we have a locked gorilla uh, action. As you can see in the bar on the left, there's a little lock symbol. Maybe you're not able to see it with the quality, but, um... So we got we gotta lower the control a bit in this sector so that we can unlock that mission. 
So we're gonna head to these destruction targets and cause some chaos. I think this game is just good for let's play because it's not super linear. I mean, it doesn't really have a. I mean, that's that's a bad thing too, is because like uh, I can get stuck every now and again, and maybe these driving scenes are boring you a bit. But um, I I really didn't feel like doing a. Oh my god, keep on killing citizens. I really didn't feel like doing a linear game like uh, something like um Halo or anything like that, you know. I didn't feel like doing anything common like Pokemon or I didn't want to send a blame truth uh wannabe. Hey bro, what's up? Ah, these are EDF supply crates. You get an achievement for destroying all of these. I have it on my other account. Hey, yeah, what's up? get to blowing things up. Favorite part of the game. Let's find some explosive things around here. Oh, smokestack comes from one down. Or it should. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that's still standing up. Let's just destroy that real quick. There we go. Oh. Oh, wow. I just got crushed. Ah, that's embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry guys, you watched me die in this episode. Well, at least I got a title this time. Red Rock Trading Post. Dun -dun -dun. It's not even a song. It's not even the beat of a song. Maybe it kinda is. Alright, back at base here. Let's go for these targets this time. Maybe they're a little less uh, able to crush me. I know someone asked. Uh, ah, my God, I can't talk at all today. Someone asked me in the comments if uh, the game's like realistic, has a realistic engine, and uh, if something falls on you, do you get crushed? And as you s just saw, that is um, a feature in the game you have to look out for. Um, sometimes just running in there and destroying everything like a crazy madman doesn't work as, as well as we thought it might. Alright, it's a bit simpler with target. Just gotta break it down. There isn't gonna be any EDF guarding it just because it's a small little smokestack and no one really cares about it. This is ore. You get mad salvage from it. And there's also an achievement for destroying all of them, which I haven't gotten on the other account, just because I have a life and I'm not going to go around looking for 3,000 or 300,000 crates or whatever. Alright. Baby. There's some massively tall and uh, huge uh, structures they destroy later on in the game. Uh, there's some giant bridges too, but sometimes it's best to just leave those alive because, um,. Makes traveling around the map a lot easier. Once you destroy something in the game, it's destroyed forever. So, if you want the game to have more, looks like it's more civilized, or the map looks like it's more civilized, you sometimes don't want to destroy certain things. And also, um, if you want to get pro time, which is like good, I guess on all the transporter missions where you basically just drive a car to a safe house. It's sometimes necessary to have all the bridges up or else you won't be able to get that time very easily. Destroy some propaganda. Wow, well, fail. That's actually a really good way to kill people. I found that out pretty early last time I was playing this game. Down the chute. Or get stuck, but um, just knock our way out. All right, destroy property I don't even mean to. Right. Hold on, guys, I just gotta check the time and see what I have time for, and I don't have time for very much. So, um, sorry for the parts being really short. At least they seem really short to me. Not feel like I'm gonna be playing ten minutes at all. So, see you next time, I guess.